Can we simulate three regular seasons in MLB The Show 19 before completing one regular season in NHL 19? How's it going everyone? Johnny Superb Man here, and in today's video, our experiments continue. Now, I don't think it's much of a secret. I have uh, called out EA Sports a lot in the past about everything, how they've handled the NHL franchise, but when it comes to my game mode, franchise mode, I absolutely hate, hate with a passion the simulation engine, okay? Uh, we're not talking about how it produces points for you. We're not talking about goals, assists, hits, whether or not your team's a Stanley Cup contender. We're talking about the Sim Engine's performance level. And we're going to compare it to the newest baseball game dropped by Sony, MLB The Show 19. And I think it's a, a fair comparison, right? Both are sports titles. Both are major sports in North America. Both are AAA titles. Both for the same price. One published by uh, EA. One published by Sony. So uh, this is going to be a fair comparison. All right, the gloves are off. EA, I'm not pulling any punches. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into it. First things first, I want to get you guys up to speed with the settings that I'll be using for both simulations. When it comes to NHL 19, I'll be using the Tampa Bay Lightning, and I want the sim to go as fast as possible so that we have a real example here. So, injuries are going to be off. There's going to be no computer trades. Waivers are going to be off. Owner mode is going to be off, along with all of those other settings. All of them off. When you're actually in the season, even though trading is off, nobody's going to be on the trading block, and I've also fired every single one of my scouts, okay? This should ensure that the sim engine goes as fast as possible for NHL 19. And when it comes to MLB The Show, same thing. The computer's going to take care of all of the management when it comes to my lineups. Injuries are also off, and I will be controlling the franchise mode for MLB The Show 19. So you'll see the NHL 19 video in the corner. I'll have my hands on the PS4 controller. So there's going to be a little bit of time lost when it comes to the uh, the show simulation, but that's okay because I think we can get three in before one season of NHL 19 gets done. So we're good. We're up to date. Three, two, one, go baby! Now we're off! Alright, so I'm in control of MLB Sim Season. I gotta be nice and quick on this, but holy crap, look at it already. So in MLB The Show 19, you can uh, you can just simulate right through spring training. NHL, they're stuck in preseason still. But look at the speed of the Sim Engine. This is what frustrates me so freaking much with EA Sports, man. So there's gonna be notifications that pop up both for NHL and for MLB. Um, with NHL, I made sure to pay attention for the whole season sim for NHL or for MLB right now I have my hands on the controller there's a there's a lot more notifications for MLB you see what I mean the draft we're already at the year one uh, MLB draft I have to skip that but look at this we're already 72 games in no stop simulating no no right there we're already almost 80 games in and when it comes to the NHL franchise we're five games into the regular season this is what frustrates me now if EA Sports released their game at like half price then fine but no same price and here we got the All-Star. Oh, that's another thing. The All-Star game, right? There's not even an All-Star game in NHL 19 season simulation. No skills competition, nothing. In MLB, you got the All-Star game and you got the Home Run Derby. And I've been calling them out since old gen with that. I mean, uh, NHL, what was it? 15, my review? I was calling for a skills competition. No. So on current gen, 15, 16, 17, 18, and now 19. No All-Star game in the season. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. What's the excuse? They're too busy making freaking concession prices for popcorn freaking hot dogs? All right, I got to focus on this. No, 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 no. See what I mean? A lot more notifications pop up for baseball. So this is where you might be losing some time. And also at the end of the season, I got to jump out and jump right back in. But I'm actually using that to make my point even clearer. Uh, so stop the sim. There's the season. Year number one done. Back right out to the main menu screen. Doesn't take long. It's still on franchise mode. The last setting that you were on, you load up the screen right away. It jumps right back into the game. Critical situations off. Advance to the regular season. Boom, back to calendar, back in, sim, uh, no, they, 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 shit, 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 sim season, lost a few tenths of a second right there, I don't like it. After playing all the F1, I know I lost like two or three tenths of a second on that mistake, but that's alright, you guys get my point, right? You try doing that in NHL 19, try moving the analog sticks or the directional pad as fast as your brain can work, no, it won't work. There'll be a delay, and then you'll click it twice, and it won't move, you'll click it a third time, then it'll move, but then it'll move three times in total, it's just a mess. It's an absolute mess, and they introduce game modes that no one gives two shits about. Owner mode? 
All right, let's play counting 19. Yeah. I mean, what a stupid idea. Simulate draft, blah, blah, blah. I mean, all it is is we sell our hot dogs for two bucks. All right. The expenses is $1.80. So we make a, a 20 cent profit. Extrapolate that over a week, then over a month, then over a year. Hey, we're in the green come the end of it. Well, I don't buy fucking NHL 19 to play an accountant. All right. I want to construct a team to win a Stanley Cup. What the fuck do I care about the price of hot dogs? Oh my god, I, I could just go on rants for days on this. But you can see, we're already at the All-Star Game again for year number two. Where are we in NHL? The Tampa Bay Lightning have a record of 27, 16, and 6. We're in January. We should be coming up to somewhere around the All-Star Game. But uh, EA Sports, maybe an NHL 31, they'll give it to us. I mean, I'm not making any more reviews. I made my last review at NHL 15. I called them out, and uh, I was like a fortune teller. I saw the future. They took away game modes. They're just going to reintroduce them as new. All right? Uh, they're going to kill off all the memory of old gen, so everyone's like, oh, this game's getting better. But anyone who's been playing it for, like, the better part of a decade knows old gen is still the much uh, more entertaining experience, hockey experience overall. All right, and there you go. Postseason, done. All right, so year number two is done. Back out, back out. All right, got to save some time this time. Franchise, boom, continue. Don't want to lose that tenth this time, ladies and gents. Up to the Rays. Loads right in, right away. Calendar, critical situations off. Select that. Uh, sim spring training, advanced. I, I lost a few. Fuck, I've lost a few tents again. Uh, sim season, boom. So we've got our third season of simulating underway. And the uh, the hockey sim is at the trade deadline. We just passed the trade deadline. Now, when the trade deadline gets passed, no longer are the computers thinking about making trades. But remember, I already made, I souped up the sim engine to make it as quick as possible. So it's going, it's going nice and quick now. We might have a photo finish we got maybe like 10 games remaining here in nhl 19 we have like uh, 120 games or 140 games remaining here in mlb no, 120 games uh, can we catch up simulate the draft come on baby i really gotta focus let's see nhl they have like two more weeks to go come on mlb you can do it let's go and uh you got to think, if I didn't have any of these notifications on, and if I didn't have to back out to the menu, if it was just one video after another after another, we would have saved, I don't know, maybe 10 seconds right there, which really makes up a lot of time. All-Star Game, no, skip that, skip that. And the notifications that pop up, it must have been like 10 times more. Is that it? Is that it? NHL right there at the end. The simulation is over. It's over. 514. It's over. So I stopped the sim right here for baseball. We got to year three. With a record of 53 and 55, so 108 wins. So we got 108 games into year number three with MLB The Show 19 uh, for NHL 19's one year of simulating. Absolute joke. So what's the excuse? What's the excuse? I want to know any uh, EA nut huggers down there in the comment section. Any game changers? What's the excuse? How have you guys changed the game for the better? All right. Other than Hockey Ultimate Team, the profit-making machine for EA. What about the other game modes that people like me buy the game for? Franchise mode. I mean, old gen sim is is it's probably on par to current gen sim. I mean, MLB The Show 14 sim is faster than NHL 19. Five years later. What's the what's the reasoning? And you guys want to even see more bullshit? Watch this, all right? Say this is, uh, this is the MLB, right? I go back all the way to April, all right? This random game, April 17th, 9 to 5 victory up against the Baltimore Orioles. Well, if I select that, I view the box score. Holy hell, I can actually go in and take a look at the individual player stats from a specific specific game more than three months ago in NHL the second that a game is simulated I cannot I can no longer go in and see who scored I can't see how my team's power play has been doing in the last 10 games all it has is the overall number it's such a piece of crap and on top of that watch this MLB I'll go to AAA I'll go to AA April 17th my freaking AA team I can look at the box score so you got three leagues of simulating where you can go in the sim engine actually is influenced by the individual player stats, all right? I can sim faster and it's detailed. What the fuck, EA Sports? So I hope I made my point very clear. I am done making review videos. All right, I'm just going to call them out for the, the pieces of crap that they actually are. The sim engine in NHL 19 is slow as molasses, while MLB The Show 19 is going at light speed. Why? Why? What's the reasoning? Why? I pay the same for both games. Why? Is baseball just better? NHL, I'm, I'm, I'm surpassing EA Sports. NHL, you have to stop giving solo rights 
to EA Sports. They are ruining the NHL culture, all right, in North America. You can have so many more people buying this freaking game, but little things like this, little fucking things like this, keep it from becoming a popular game. So, boys, let me know what you think. I want to hear the excuses from the nut huggers, and I also want to hear what you guys have to say about my opinions on the matter. But uh, let me know. This is ridiculous. And I will see you guys in the next Can We video. Hey, guys, Johnny here, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like, hit that subscribe button, and make sure notifications notifications are on so you don't miss out on any new content. We also live stream on Twitch where I take days off my life for your entertainment. Sonny Gray, get out of it. You stupid pieces of shit. I should have gone with Jose for Fernandez. Oh my god, pitching change. Fernandez, get your ass in there. Oh, I swear to god, baseball god just decided all over me. Grand slam. Oh, yeah. Make me miss the playoffs with a first-ranked team. Year two, 30 games above 500. No divisional win. Trip to the wild card. First inning.